You f oh my goodness, Technoma, you're so great at playing piano. Ah, uh, well, not actually. With Rust adding instruments, you can do some pretty cool things. It's pretty obvious to say that I'm not exactly playing these. Now, I've got about half an hour left of electricity before my wonderful country decides to cut it off, so I'll try and explain this as quickly as possible. You see, you can download skill. With the addition of instruments, you can do something called MIDI. Now, MIDI's been around for quite a long time, and it's not exactly the most unknown thing. Back in the day, these files used to be tiny, as they are still now, and they're incredibly easy to download. They're small sources of music, and they're easily distributable, meaning that they were pretty popular back in the day. Now, I haven't touched one of these files in many years, but today, for the first time, Rust is taking me back to those sketchy download websites to go ahead and download some more hit songs that sound like garbage. That being said, how do you go from not knowing what you're doing to playing great tunes? Well, it's actually not too difficult. All you need are two bits of software and a little bit of brain power. Of course, you can download a third one if you want to make it even better. So I've seen some tutorials out there that show you how to do this kind of thing, and I'm basically going to be showing you one of those, however, with a little bit more to it. Again, thought I taught you the first time. So to do this, you'll need a couple of different programs. Head into the description down below and you'll be downloading a Looper MIDI as well as MIDI Player. I'm going to quickly download this one before the advert starts playing. Then, on Loop MIDI, I'll hit the Download Loop MIDI button over there. And two zip files will download. I'll open up the MIDI one first. You can see it's already in a folder, so I'll simply drag and drop that out onto my desktop as such. And then I'll go ahead and open up the folder. We need to wait for Loop MIDI to download. For some reason, the servers are a bit slower, so I'm going to go ahead and wait for that to finish. Once it's downloaded, you'll see there's an EXE inside of it. Open it up. Run. Then you can leave all of these checked, doesn't really matter. And hit the I agree at the very bottom. Install. Hit yes when prompted for admin. And then hit launch. Then you'll see something a little bit similar to this. All you need to do from here is where it says new port name. Select all of that. Type in Rust. And hit the plus button. Great, now you've created your MIDI loop. This will loop whatever goes out back into your PC. Then down here with the little loop MIDI icon, right click and make sure auto start loop MIDI is selected so that this starts with your computer. Otherwise, if you want to go ahead and make noise in the game, you're gonna have to open this program up every time. Then open up MIDI player and you'll find a MIDI player.exe file. Double click, run, and you'll see it pops up like this. MIDI text we don't really need, but we need to focus on this bit over here. You can grab and drag it anywhere from this top piece over here and this top one is separate for some reason or another. But anyways, here is what you go ahead and drag and drop your MIDI files into. If I were to simply double click on the song over here, you can see it plays. That's some sort of remix for the song over here, taken right out of Doom. Either way, you just saw me add a MIDI file. Simply drag and drop it from the download folder into this list at the very bottom over here. You can sort by title, folder, etc, etc, and just double click to go straight to them. At the top, you have a little play bar, a little pitch slider, as well as something to change the speed next to it. These ones at the bottom over here won't matter once we're in game. So, of course, you can hear exactly what we're playing. If I hit play, you can hear music. Congratulations, you've got it kind of working. All you need to do is hit this little settings button on the left hand side, and you'll see a window something like this. Simply uncheck use base, and uncheck use MIDI mapper. So these two at the very top need to be unchecked. Then where it says output port, change that from Microsoft blah blah to Rust. Hit OK, and then hit play, and you'll hear absolutely nothing. That means that you've now ported it into the Rust MIDI pipeline, basically. That's one way of putting it. Then once you're in game, all you need to do is hit this little play button, and your fingers will start moving like magic. You can tab into game, open up chat, you can press escape. Whatever you do, you'll still be playing. This is much better than using your keyboard, and it's impossible to get you banned. Why? Because MIDI is in fact not a cheat, it is something that computers have been using since the 19 whatevers. Basically, MIDI is a pipeline that gets something from a physical musical device into your PC where you can record it and play it back later on. You can make different changes, etc, etc, and it's not a cheat at all. So using a program like this is guaranteed not to get you banned, it doesn't hook into the game, it's just something that music creators use. With that being said, you can go ahead and make as much noise as you want with whatever instrument you can find. With without the fear of being banned. So after downloading your first MIDI file, you may put it in game and discover... What in the actual hell is going on? This is nothing like the song I tried to download. Well, take a guess what instrument we're playing. That's right, mayonnaise. Now, as you may or may not know, MIDI files can comprise of multiple songs. If I go ahead and tab out of the game and change it back so you can hear it, it sounds a hell of a lot more like the song we downloaded. 
but as you can hear, there's more than just one instrument playing. Now, usually this wouldn't be a problem, but the one thing that causes the most issues is in fact drums, because they happen on one or two keys at the very low end and will end up making the song sound absolutely garbage. So how exactly do you go about fixing that? Well, the simplest way is to go ahead and remove the drums entirely. So to do that, I've downloaded another piece of software, which I'll link below, called MIDI Editor. How exactly do you use this thing? Well, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is drag and drop the song file into here. You can hold control, scroll out to zoom out and zoom in. At the very top, we'll go to MIDI followed by settings and make sure that Rust 2 or whatever you called it is selected under MIDI output. Then hit close, hit spacebar to play and you should be playing it in game. Now this already sounds a lot more similar to what it should sound. You'll have to double click to move the playhead, click somewhere up here. And if we play it somewhere here, you can hear exactly what is going wrong. Much like the game, this is just one instrument at one time, the piano. So how exactly do we go about removing the drums? Well, on the right hand side under tracks, you have a bunch of things here and you have a bunch of things under channels. Usually drums will be at the very bottom and they'll just be called Acoustic Grand Piano because that's the default name. However, it may be more easy to see them on the tracks page. Usually they'll add the name of the person who's playing the instrument at the time and the color code will be next to it. Or of course, they'll just name it flat out something easy to recognize like drums. So if I hit play now, you can hear it sounds terrible. If I click the speaker to stop that playing, hit the I to stop it showing up on the chart and hit play again. You can hear it sounds a lot more like it should. There's a dog attacking me, so let's just quickly sort out this issue. Dog sorted out. You can see that it's working a hell of a lot better. Tapping out. Let's stop playing it. Add the drums back. And you can hear it's completely broken again. Great, so now we know what the source of our problem is. It's the drums. We're playing more than one instrument. So all you need to do is go ahead and click on the drum track and click the little remove track button over there. Boop. Hit the Control S button to save it. And of course, you can play it either through here but it has some issues recognizing what tempo is, i.e. speed. So dragging, dropping it back into this program over here, or even just double clicking on it again to open it up. You should see that it's managed to fix itself. We've now successfully removed the issue and it's playing pretty well. Usually there'll be one or two other instruments as well that also cause an issue, but most of the time instruments that rely on tone instead of just percussion seem to fix the issue. So simply removing the drums, you can make it sound much more like it actually should. That being said, if you have the time, you can go ahead and add your own notes by simply holding a right click and drawing them out on the pad itself. Of course, I don't have anywhere near that amount of patience, so I'm just going to download them off of sketchy websites. That being said, you can also do pretty cool things like copying the MIDI file and then removing a couple of tracks so you can get your friends to queue up with you and play some instruments. So hypothetically, you could delete everything here and keep just the guitar with a bass, save it and then send that to your friends. So say you'll just delete absolutely everything except for the bass over here. You'll save the file, send this over to your friend who's playing the shovel bass in game, and then they'll play these respective chords. Of course, it won't sound exactly like the real song, but you can go ahead and make some pretty cool things by yourself. Of course, my tutorial is not going to go that in depth. This is just the basics to go ahead and fix your songs from sounding like garbage to sounding somewhat like they should. No, I'm not going to tell you where to download mini files. But of course, just by typing in a song name, an artist's name, followed by a MIDI or a MIDI download, you'll find your way to lots of sketchy download sites in no time. And that's exactly where you need to be. Something else to keep in mind? If you mount an instrument while playing a song not designed for that instrument, surprise, surprise, it's not going to work as you expected. Why is that? Well, because there's a certain number of notes that actually work with these instruments. MIDI is simply a piano like this. And if you click up here, you can move things around. So if I click a couple of these keys up here, you can see that it's sort of capped out and this entire high range is the crash. Down here is the kick drum and at a certain point you'll see it changes to these other instruments. So this flat over here is the hi-hat, the snare drum, the hi-hat as well, tom one, tom two, floor tom, ride and also ride. 
back to snare for a couple of these, and then over to your crash once again. So of course, if you were to play something designed for any other instrument, you'll see it presses the keys and it's not actually using the right things. So unfortunately, you can't just go ahead and download a drum MIDI pack because the drums may be mapped slightly differently. You'll have to end up writing these yourself using something like FL Studio, or like the program I showed you just before this, or heck, any other MIDI program for that matter. Because MIDI's been around for a hell of a long time, you'll find absolutely millions of MIDI files for every song under the sun. Some of them will sound great and some of them will sound rather bad. Of course, another example of removing the drums, here we have a kids with guns from Gorillaz. If I open it up, scroll down, find drums, delete, save it, and reopen it, you can see that it sounds a hell of a lot closer to what it should. It's all just a matter of luck and a matter of removing the drums, if not a couple of other instruments, from the MIDI songs itself. Once you've done that, you can play just about anything you can get your hands on the .mid file for. So that's about it. That is the complete crash course to making instruments that sound good. My name has been Technobo. I hope this video helped you. Have fun annoying your friends in Rust. Dude, oh, oh, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> hey. <laughs> like yeah, dude. This is cuck funny, dude. <laughs> Generally, there's like other shit in the base, but <laughs> there's not even there's not even a fucking TC, bro. There's just instruments. <laughs> what am I doing, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Two, three. Oh! Record it, record it. Dude, this is such a waste of my life. Nezo, <laughs> <laughs> did you quit? Definitely. <laughs> you guys are having a band session, but you didn't even invite me, bro. What's happening here, bro? Come on, bro. Come on, Bri, where's my invite, Bri? Come on, Bri. Hello. Hello. Come on, man. Open your door, man. Come on, man. Open your door.